Welcome to CTC TV. I'm Bruce Fassbinder along with Dial Tucker. Thanks, Bruce. This month, we'll walk into with the graduates in CTC's inaugural fall graduation, congratulate our employees of the year, and welcome new members to the CTC Board of Trustees. We'll also celebrate with students earning their nursing pins, take part in the largest police academy graduation to date, and congratulate the newest members of the CTC Honor Society. All this and more on CTC TV. Wherever you are in the world, Central Texas College can turn your potential into success. Our students are active duty military and veterans. They're looking to move up in the ranks and into the workforce, overseas and stateside. CTC awards credit for military service and offers classes online and on military installations. Start your new mission at Central Texas College for students of the real world. Central Texas College held its first ever fall semester graduation ceremony at the Bell County Expo Center in December. Some 250 plus students walked across the stage to receive their associate degree or certificate of completion. The average age of the graduates was 33 with the oldest graduate at 74 years and two 17 year olds as the youngest graduates. Of the total degrees conferred, 88 Associate of Applied Science degrees were awarded, 159 Associate of Art degrees, 25 Associate of Science degrees, and 9 Certificates of Completion were awarded. Among the graduates were 155 active duty service members of the U.S. Army, 52 in the Air Force, 4 in the Navy, 3 Marines, and 3 members of the National Guard. Also completing their studies in the fall semester were 31 students in the Associate Degree Nursing Program. The students received their nursing pins during a ceremony in the Anderson Campus Center, signifying the passage of the student nurse role to that of a practicing nurse. During the ceremony, Maria Villagran was recognized as a highest honors graduate for maintaining a 4.0 grade point average in her nursing courses. Several students were also acknowledged as honor graduates for achieving a grade point average between 3.5 and 3.79 in their nursing courses. The honors graduates were Tabitha Berryhill, Morgan Day, Gilda Donis Lake, Rachel Holland, Sonny Hunt, Tanya Foster, Brianne Lubitich, Amy Parrott, and Anitra Smithy. Based on nominations from her student peers, Janine Talton received the Caring Heart Award for exemplifying the three C's of nursing, caring, compassion, and concern. Cited for exemplary performance, Sandra Henrichson received a gift card from Monarch Uniforms, and Villa Grand received a gift card from Scrubtopia Medical Outfitters. After receiving their nursing pins, the graduates participated in the traditional candle lighting ceremony in which each student, along with their semester faculty team leader, is presented a candle which is lit prior to citing the nurse's pledge. At the end of 2017, Central Texas College held its annual service award ceremony to recognize those employees who reached their service anniversary during the year and who have at least 10 years of service. Nearly 60 employees with a combined 905 years of service received commemorative service pens and gifts. Topping the list of award recipients was John L. Welsh, Dean of Student Services with 45 years of service, Kumi Humston Bonner, Serial's Technical Services Clerk in the Library, and Lisa Vall, Professor in the Communications and Anthropology. Social and Behavioral Sciences Departments were honored for 30 years of service. Recognized for 25 years of service were Robin Sherricks, Kelly Holman, Gary Lumkuller, Tracy Lumkuller, Ray Ann Sloan, Stephen Solzer, and Martha Tipton. Six employees were honored for 20 years of service, along with 19 employees with 15 years of service. 22 employees reached their 10-year service milestone this year. In addition to the service award, CTC also announced its Employees and Department of the Year. Earning Employee of the Year honors were Ashley Manry, Continental Campus Coordinator, Michael Spruill, Associate Dean of the Europe Campus, Colleen Willis, Office Specialist II in the Business Administration and Paralegal Department, Sean Davis, Coordinator in Employee Benefits, Michelle Carriage, Clerk 3 in Records and Registration, and Earning Employee of the Year honors for a second time was Pat Boone, Director of the CTC Police Academy. The Department of the Year was won by Public Education. Chancellor Jim Yiannopoulos selected Sabrina Gerard, Director of the CTC Navy Campus, as the winner of the Chancellor's Award. And the Student Choice Award, voted on by students for their favorite faculty member, was presented to Erica Willis, Instructor in the Kinesiology Department, who was also a two-time winner of the award. 
the Central Texas College Sigma Iota chapter of Phi Theta Kappa Honor Society held an induction ceremony during the fall semester to recognize 13 students as its newest members. Each new member recited the Honor Society oath and signed the membership book before being, being presented a yellow rose and their membership certificate. Phi Theta Kappa recognizes academic success of students at two-year colleges and provides opportunities for individual growth and development through honors leadership and service programming. It is the largest honor society in American higher education with more than 2.5 million members and 1,275 chapters across the country and the world. The American Association of Community Colleges recognizes Phi Theta Kappa as the official honor society of two-year colleges. The Sigma Iota chapter opened at CTC in 1968. Students are re required to maintain at least a 3.5 grade point average and have completed at least 30 college credit hours at CTC. Central Texas College was recently named to the Military Times Best Colleges 2018 list, the most comprehensive school-by-school -school assessment of veteran and military student services and rates of academic achievement. In the category of online and non-traditional schools, CTC ranked third behind the University of Maryland University College and Liberty University. This marks the eighth year for the Military Times Best Colleges rankings, formerly known as Best for Vets. It is an editorially independent news project that evaluates the many factors that help make colleges and universities a good fit for service members, military veterans, and their families. More than 600 colleges took part in this year's detailed survey. Colleges and universities are asked to document an array of services, special rules, accommodations, and financial incentives offered to students with military ties. The survey also requires schools to describe many aspects of veteran culture on a campus. Military Times then factors in data from the Veterans Affairs and Defense Departments, as well as the Education Department sources of the Integrated Post-Secondary Education Data System, Data Center, College Scorecard Data, and the Cohort Default Rate Database. At the time of the survey, CTC reported a military enrollment of 21,934 with an overall enrollment of 33,094 for the 2016-17 academic year. CTC also reported a 57% military student retention rate and a graduation transfer rate of 13%. Among the factors contributing to CTC's number three ranking was the school's credit per hour rate being below the established tuition assistance cap of $250 and under the GI Bill cap. CTC's full out-of-state tuition for all programs is lower than the nationwide cap of $17,500 per school year. CTC accepts and grants credit for military training recommended by the American Council on Education Credits and the school's participation in the College Credit for Heroes program, which offers college credit to military veterans for their military training and experience. CTC also has a Vet Success Center at its central campus to specifically handle veterans' issues. In addition to the Central and Fort Hood campuses, CTC has 26 sites on military installations across the continental United States and Alaska and Hawaii. CTC also provides higher education services to military personnel in numerous countries through its Europe campus and to Navy ships at sea through the CTC Navy campus. CTC received another honor as it was recently recognized as one of the best online colleges in Texas for 2017-18 by Affordable Colleges Online. On the website's two-year best college list, CTC placed fifth in the state. Only public, not-for-profit institutions were eligible for the ranking. The primary data points used to identify the best online colleges of 2017-18 included regional accreditation, in-state tuition and fees, percent of full-time undergraduate students receiving institutional financial aid, number of online programs offered, and student-to-teacher ratio. Affordable Colleges Online, a leader in higher education information, resources, and rankings, began providing quality data and information about pursuing an affordable higher education in 2011. The college rankings are backed by data collected and analyzed from the in Integrated Post-Secondary Education Data System, a program managed by the National Center for Education Statistics, which surveys more than 7,500 colleges annually. CTC was also recognized as the ninth best online community college by bestvalues.com. The ranking considered number of degrees offered, retention rate, graduation rate, and total annual cost. At the end of the fall semester, the CTC Police Academy held its largest graduation ceremony as 24 cadets completed the 10th Basic Peace Officer course. 
All graduates pass the state licensing exam prior to graduation with an average score of 87% and are now eligible to become peace officers in Texas. The class average for the entire course was 92%. During the ceremony, Dustin Roscoe of the Lab Passes County Sheriff's Office was recognized as class president chosen by his peers. Michael Tudor of the Marble Falls Police Department earned the Academic Honor Graduate Award with a 97.68% grade average. He also won the Chuck Dinwiddie Top Gun Award for Best Firearms Performance. A new award, the Top Gear Award for Best Driving Proficiency, was won by Paul Gautier. And the Best Instructor Award, as voted on by the cadets, was presented to Sergeant Stephen O'Neill of the Coppers Cove Police Department. The Basic Peace Officer course is a 19-week, 720-hour course in which cadets receive training in all aspects of law enforcement and receive extensive hands-on training in defensive tactics, firearms, and police vehicle operation. In addition, cadets take written exams on subjects such as victims' rights, the Texas Penal Code, Texas Traffic Code, Texas Family Code, criminal investigation, and more. In addition to the 19-week course, the CTC Police Academy offers an extended 10-month night course. Cadets, ex cadets attend class four nights a week and every other Saturday. The current academy class has 17 cadets in the extended evening academy, while the basic course offered during the day has 24 cadets. The Central Texas College Board of Trustees recently welcomed two new members. Brenda Coley was sworn in to the Place 5 seat to replace Scott Isdale, who resigned in October. She will assume the remaining four years of Isdale's six-year term. Colley recently served as Senior Manager of the Multi-State Division of Employee Relations for the Adventist Health System and spent 23 years as the Executive Director of Human Resources at Metroplex Health System. In January, trustees swore in Joseph Burns to the Place 3 seat to replace L. Wood, Woody Shimwell, who retired. Burns, the superintendent of the Coppers Cove Independent School District, will serve the remainder of Shemwell's six-year term, which expires in 2019. During the Nursing and Allied Health Department Spring Semester Welcome Assembly and Pep Rally, the annual DAISY Faculty Award winner was announced. Created by the DAISY Foundation in collaboration with the American Association of Colleges of Nursing, the award demonstrates appreciation to teachers for their commitment and inspirational influence on their students. It is presented to nursing instructors whose expertise and excellence are demonstrated in their role as teachers and is based on nominations from students and peers. This year's winner was Elizabeth Colon, third semester coordinator and professor of adult health in the associate degree in nursing program. A past nominee for the DAISY Faculty Award, Colon received a hand-carved Shona sculpture entitled A Healer's Touch, created by the Shona tribe in Zimbabwe, Africa. The, state symbolized, the statue symbolizes the tribe's custom of revering traditional healers. Also nominated for the award was Jacqueline Bird, professor of first semester fundamentals in the ADN program. She was nominated for the second consecutive year and received a commemorative pin. The CTC speech and debate team continued its winning ways by earning second place in the recent 36th annual Texas Speech Championships held in Houston, Texas in December. CTC was the runner up among the 31 competing teams. Team members won 14 individual awards throughout the competition, including freshman Catherine Weaver earning state championship honors in debate, Joseph Barr, freshman, and Deja Will Higgins, sophomore, advanced to the elite eighth of the debate tournament. Barr also placed fourth in the entertainment speech and is sixth in extemporaneous speaking, while Higgins placed fourth in oral interpretation, fourth in persuasive speaking, and second in the state in poetry. Nathan Van Zensten, freshman, was second in communication analysis and third in duo performance with Higgins. Jeff Jackson, freshman, placed third in informative speaking. Bobby Borntrager, freshman, placed seventh in impromptu speaking. As a rehearsal for the state championship competition, speech team members hosted its annual holiday speech showcase in the campus library. Team members presented a variety of public speaking formats, including extemporaneous speaking, prose, and pro poetry interpretation. The team will now compete in the National Speech Championships in Dayton, Florida in March. At the start of the spring semester, the Student Success and Persistence Department hosted a Welcome Back Bash and Resource Fair. The carnival-themed event provided direct access to representatives from a variety of academic departments and available student services so students could obtain the information and resources needed to enhance their college-going experience. 
In addition to the valuable information, students enjoyed free food, live music and entertainment, prize giveaways, and more. The Welcome Back Bash was free and open to all students. The CTC Vet Success Center and Veterans Services Department will host a Veterans Benefit Expo on Tuesday, March 6th. The free event will be held in the Anderson Campus Center, Building 156 on the Central Campus in Colleen from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. Representatives from nearly 30 organizations serving military veterans will be on hand to provide information on education benefits, health care services, and disability compensation. The event provides an informational outlet for military veterans and their families on how they can make the best of their veterans benefits. It is also intended to offer our military veterans the most accurate up-to-date information regarding their benefits and to make sure they understand how to apply and gain the maximum assistance from these benefits. Other resources and material available during the expo include information on home and land loans, employment services, counseling services, and legal services. Veterans should bring their DD Form 214, their VA health care ID card, and a recent VA disability correspondence. The CTC Veterans Benefit Expo is free and open to the public. For more information, contact the CTC Vet Success Center on campus at 254-501-3094. The Fine Arts Department announced three students were named Texas Association of Music Schools All-State Musicians, the highest honor a Texas music student can receive. Emily Self, Soprano One, and Michael Dixon Bates, Tenor One, earned All-State Choir honors. Andrea Cruz Santos, Flutist, won a seat in the All-State Symphonic Band. The students have joined other All-State musicians for three days of rehearsals directed by nationally recognized conductors for performances at the annual Texas Music Educators Association Clinic and Convention in San Antonio this weekend. The visual arts area of fine arts kicked off the spring semester with the opening of a new art exhibit. Illusions, Illusions features the paintings of Richard Skirla and is available in the upstairs art gallery of the campus library. Skirla, who terms himself a neo-expressionist, is an art professor at McLennan Community College and the University of Marin Hardin Baylor. The exhibit is open through April 2nd and is free and open to the public. CTC will observe spring break the week of March 12th through 16th. During the week, the central campus will be closed and no classes will be held. Administrative offices will reopen and classes resume on Monday, March 19th. To help send a safety message to students when they take a week-long break from their studies during spring break, the CTC Student Assistance Program will hold its annual spring break safety event, Keep Spring Break Safe, on Wednesday, March 7th in the Anderson Campus Center. The event opens at 9 a.m. with several guest speakers from Mothers Against Drunk Driving, the Texas Red Program, and Campus Police. The event serves as a reality education for drivers as students receive information about driving safe, silent and secure without distractions from texting or impairment from drugs and alcohol. Following the speakers, students can participate in several activities including mock field sobriety tests using intoxication goggles, driving a DUI simulator while wearing impairment goggles, and meeting representatives from various health service agencies who will disseminate information on safety. Free and confidential HIV screenings will also be offered. The Central Texas College Foundation is now accepting online applications for scholarships to be awarded in the fall 2018 and spring 2019 semesters. Students can apply online now through 11.59 p.m. on March 31st, and the scholarships will be awarded near the end of the spring semester. Applicants can visit ctcd.org academicsworks.com for application information and a list available of available scholarships. The online application can be accessed by clicking the sign up link at the top of the web page. In order to apply for a CTC Foundation scholarship, all applicants must have applied to CTC and have a current CTC student ID number. Applicants will also need to use their CTC Eagle Mail email address they have on file with CTC and create a password in order to access the application. Students only need to fill out one online application to be eligible for all available scholarships awards for which they qualify. Both academic merit and need-based scholarships are offered. In the past eight years, the CTC Foundation has awarded more than $1.2 million in scholarships. More than $230,000 in scholarship funds was presented, presented to nearly 150 students for use in the 2017-18 academic year. 
For more information about any available CTC scholarships, contact the CTC Foundation Office at 254-526-1662. The Hospitality Department opened a new season of the Patio Cafe Cuisine Nights Dining Experience this semester featuring international cuisines. Every other Friday, culinary art students plan and prepare the menu items, work as chefs preparing each meal, serve as waitstaff, and do all the behind-the-scenes work such as washing dishes and busting tables. This gives the students hands-on overall experience in the real world of restaurant work. Each dinner is served from 6 to 7.30 p.m. in the culinary arts dining area of the Student Center. Featured cuisines this semester include South African, Middle Eastern, German, and Filipino. Next Friday, February 23rd, is Italian night. Reservations are required for each patio cafe dinner and can be made by calling 254-526-1515. The menu for the meal will be posted on the CTC webpage the week of the dinner. In other hospitality news, culinary students are preparing breakfast and other treats during the week by hosting the Sweet Retreat Bakery. The bakery is open every Tuesday and Thursday morning from 8.30 to 10 a.m. and offers a variety of breakfast and pastry items. The bakery is located in the culinary arts area of the Student Center. A new menu will be available each week. CTC will host the next P20 Council meeting on Friday, March 2nd from 9 to 10 a.m. in room 1080 of the CTC Science Center. Guest speaker for the event is Charlie Ayers, Vice President of the Temple Economic Development Corporation and Co-Chairman of the Central Texas P20 Strategic Alliance Committee. Ayers will present the importance of creating a college and career-going culture in our community and identify the opportunities and obstacles educators face as they prepare students for careers that are evolving in the workplace and economy. P20 is a school-to-work initiative that builds pathways from education into the workplace to provide a skilled workforce across Central Texas. CTC employees can register online through the calendar event page on the CTC website. The CTC Jazz Ensemble will host a lunchtime concert in the gazebo on Thursday, March 1st. The concert is set for 12.30 to 1 p.m. and will showcase the group and solo efforts of CTC musicians. The gazebo is located between the Computer Science Building and Academic Building. The concert is free and open to the public. The CTC Student Nurse Association will host two events in the coming weeks. The first is a fundraiser on Friday, February 23rd at Freddy's Restaurant in Colleen, located on Clear Creek Road. Dine at Freddy's between 5 and 8 p.m. and 10% of all sales will be donated to the Student Nurse Association to benefit the club's community service projects. Then on Tuesday, March 20th, the club will host a community blood drive. The Carter Blood Care Bus will be parked at the CTC Nursing Center, building 155 from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Donors must be at least 16 years of age, be in good general health, and weigh at least a minimum of 110 pounds. Donors must also pre present a valid photo ID issued by the state, such as a driver's license, school ID, or U.S. government ID. The Central Texas College Center for African American Studies and Research will host the African American Experience, an invitation to explore, on Tuesday, February 27th at the Texas A&M Central Texas Warrior Hall. Keynote speaker for the event is Aya Anelli, author of the 2017 book, Reclaim Your Life, and guest speaker is Roscoe Harrison, host of KNCT's Focus. A meet and greet from 5 to 5.45 p.m. will open the event, followed by the lecture series from 6 to 8 p.m. The event is free and open to the public, and for more information, call Larry Davis at 254-501-5833. Before we close, here are some upcoming events of interest.
Thanks for joining us on the first CTC TV of the spring 2018 semester. For Dial Tucker, I'm Bruce Fassbinder. See you next month with more news and events around campus.